Hey you guys, this is Ruben Rex. So today is a beautiful day because finally we have the songs for friends. It was supposed to be in January, but it's in February. So uh, let's start with uh, the song that uh, I found the first. Uh, and then after we will go through all of them because I'm going to do my reaction to all 12 of them. But let's just start with this song, which... Uh, I'm quite curious. Also, uh, I'm I don't know the date when it's going to be the semi-final or the final, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm very like emotionally involved with this. <laughs> so what is this? Ooh. Okay. Okay, this is from Britannia. So, uh, Britannia is a place, um, it's a region in France. Uh, and I kept saying to the people who are fans of Terra that we have also this in, uh, in, in France. We have a lot of areas. We have Pays Basque, where they speak Basque. We have uh, a Provence, where they speak Provençal. We have Occitan, where they speak Occitan, which is a little bit like Catalan etc etc you have places close to germany where they speak with the german and this is uh britannia yeah they have a long history with great britain also a lot of fighting etc <laughs> like all the independence a bit like galicia uh no more like pay basque more like pay basque. you can compare them with pay basque so um uh, this is a britannia and this is breton and it's very famous because for very long like in Holland, we have Friesland and in France, Britannia. For very long, they wanted the, to be their own uh, country, to have their own language. But in uh, they, it, it's like in Holland, they have their own language officially. But uh, I don't think it's officially acknowledged as an official language. Uh, like in Spain, they do that. But uh, in... Um, in France and Holland, it's not like this. It's, they are not really acknowledged as having their own language. They have their own flag, yes, but the, the, their, the language is not like, it's more like seen as like, yeah, it's, it's complicated. Just look it up. It's not the same. This sounds so interesting. Whoa, Ukraine. Yeah, they mix. I w I'm so happy they are doing this because. This is very original. This is very interesting. Uh, I'm very happy they like mix uh you can say it's a mix of ukraine and a mix of uh like for example a song like terra but i don't find it's like terra at all because it's completely different uh but it's a folk core modern folk core with mixed with trance so basically they do like ukraine and uh some other people will maybe compare it with terra but for me personally it's not the same thing except the fact that it's also folk core um for the rest, I find it's very catchy and very original, and I think they could actually win with this and actually do very well. Although this is the only the first song I hear, so I did not hear any other songs. Uh, as a French person, um, a French-Dutch person, I should say, 
uh, I, I, I don't understand Breton. So uh, yeah, for me, this is like if I hear Fries uh, from Friesland, from Holland, I don't understand it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's okay for me. I, I don't mind. It makes it more like mysterious. And uh, I think this has a chance to win because in, in France, they already, it's not about the fact that it's like Volcor or from any kind of region or whatever. It's the fact that it's really good. That's all that matters. And uh, this is very modern, very catchy, very like Eurovision 2022, very like, yeah, uh, of this time. And it's something that France never did before, except like they already sent a song from Brittany I think once, uh, I don't remember if it was in the 90s or in the 2000s, but uh, they did it once already. And uh, they sent also two times songs from Corsica, uh, which is an island, but yeah, it's also, uh, they have also their own language. Uh, but I think uh, they s did not sing in Corsican. So France di did this kind of thing before, but not like this. This is very modern. This is very much like Ukraine. And it's very catchy. I really like it. It's uh, also very French, the techno, you know, uh, France is very famous for techno with Daft Punk and all these uh, kind of people that they have, very famous DJs. Whoa. It's very original. Oh my god. What? This can win. Like this can even go really far in Eurovision. See the difference here between good folker Dispon Kreis Andi Guaden Etans Arfulen. You see the influence of like Celtic and Viking and all this kind of stuff? Yeah, that's basically also in, in Britannia I've been there when I was a kid uh, at least three times and uh, I had very good memories. They're famous for their butter, for their cream. They're famous, especially when you go there for uh, uh, their um, crepes, which are uh, those pancakes from France. And they come from Brittany. They are very famous. And also a lot of shops where are written Celtic. Uh, a lot of shops. I remember when I was a kid, I was really impressed. And a lot of like seafood and also like uh, decoration with... Uh, blue and this kind of t-shirt he's wearing and that I'm wearing sometimes also in my videos. And uh, yeah, I remember my mother was always going to the shops. Very beautiful like sea decoration uh, for like uh, house decoration. And But a lot of Celtic shops and a lot of crepe shops. And uh, the nature is very beautiful. It's never very uh, uh, cold in winter and never very hot in summer. So it's a very good climate. And it's very beautiful with those big rocks and everything. And I remember when I was there as a kid with my brother, we used to go there. And my brother, who is like a super adventurer, because every time we like get lost and things like this, even when he was a teenager, he was always helping us. And like, I remember once in Switzerland, we had like a real adventure, like we were on a cliff and everybody was scared and he was like guiding everybody. My brother is such a legend. And uh, then I remember in Brittany, uh, which we call Bretagne in, Fr in France, uh, he found uh, shark eggs. So he found eggs uh, between those rocks because we were always climbing those rocks. And he found shark eggs, eggs of shark. And we were looking at them and my father said, oh, but this is from a shark. So that was epic. I have like a lot of very good memories of Bretagne. It's a very beautiful place. They say it's one of the places in France where people are the, uh, the most happy. Uh, and where they're very like tra they have a lot of tradition also I don't know if they have as many tradition as like in for example in Pays Basque and in Occitanie 
they have really a lot of tradition with like carnival their own language you know in pay basque when they're running away from those cows and everything so in britannia i'm sure you have also this kind of stuff like carnival but i don't know if they have uh, those much traditions but i know they are uh, very into their own language um however i don't know if it's coming back like in other regions or if people are speaking uh french or if they really care about like speaking breton because in the past they used to really be like very uh, aggressive on this and they used they really wanted to have their own country and their own language and uh they still use their own flag i know and everything but i think that it's not so um it's not so extreme with young people anymore as in the past i think although you still have some that are of course uh always like uh uh how do you say carrying on the traditions and trying to carry on the language which is mm -hmm. always very good i always a big supporter of that and always with like concerts of armin van buren i always see people from britannia a lot and they always have the 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 flag from britannia you will see when you look at some concerts of armin van buren you see the white and black so uh yeah and and I'll, I'll also those t-shirts that they're wearing are very famous i should have put it for this video but i was a bit cold so i was like i'm gonna wear this uh so i look more like those two ladies but yeah those two ladies people will say oh that's like terra but no they, those people are completely wrong it has nothing to do with terra <laughs> except that it's also folklore that's the only link uh, this is something that I would have never have expected from France. And I would I would say that if I could compare this with Ukraine, I find it just as good, maybe even better. Maybe even better because it's the first time I hear it, of course. But um, yeah, I find it also maybe even better because I am French, so I'm a bit biased. But I just, yeah, I just never expected this. And uh, I just hope that French people gonna vote for this now i'm gonna listen to all the other songs so uh i'm actually very curious but uh yeah this song i i, I really wanted to make a reaction first because I, I i listened to it i was like okay i have to share this this is epic and this i'm gonna look forward to looking this um on tv i'm really looking forward to this so uh thank you so much uh alvan and ahes with uh, the song fulen I don't know if they are the one who wrote it. Maybe it's written. I don't think it's written. No, it's not written. No, usually it's the 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 French TV who selects and writes. No, I don't know if they write songs, but they select songs. So I think it's them who wrote this, yes. Uh, but they are not famous in France. Maybe they are famous in Brittany. So anyways, that's all I want to say. Don't forget to subscribe, be yourself, be nice to yourself and each other. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment uh if you think that's if you agree with me or not keep the comments positive let me know if you find it has the same potential as ukraine and uh let me know if you find it's just as like epic as other folk your entries so yes you can mention terra but don't be like obsessive about you know comparing them with terra all the time uh this is much bigger than terra uh so see you guys next video okay do do ciao ciao love you guys et au revoir